Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. If you are new here, I'm a self-employed hairstylist and I like to get my life together by planning minimally and functionally and also getting my life together planning my budget. So today we will be doing a budget video, a paycheck to paycheck. I do not receive a paycheck, but this is how I pay myself. This is how I pay my bills. Again, like I said before, I'm self-employed um, and I hope that this video will help someone. Um, honestly, I've already recorded this video, but because I was rusty, I did it all wrong, so I had to start over. Um, a second thing is I do apologize for my absence. Um, in my first video, I showed how I had not planned since probably June, and all of this is empty. So I did kind of do my November monthly budget, but today, for today's sake, we're going to be doing our weekly um, paycheck to paycheck budget, and um, yeah. So let's start over and I can show you. I had to scratch so much stuff out. I said, you know what? Let me just start over. Um, if you're new here, I designed this bundle. This is our 2023 bundle, but we do have our 2024 bundle. This is what it looks like. Um, this is an oops, so I'm going to use it for myself. And matter of fact, this again, this is our old one. It is avail available for a digital download if you want to use this one. Matter of fact, I'll just do this one. I'll just do a separate video on how we're going to use these, especially since I'm a little rusty now. So let's just start this all over. Um, again, I'm going to flip to November so that I can see what we have to do. And this week will be the 20th through the 26th. Okay, and my sources of income right now is just hair and my business, which is Norris Cove. And so for hair, um, I'm just going to budget around 800 It is Thanksgiving week, which is normally busy for me, but I do have some customers that are traveling. Um, I like to say 1000 but I'm going to stick with 800 this week for Norris Cove. Um, we are doing a Black Friday sale, but um, I got to work on the graphics. I got to get things up, but I'm just going to stick with like um, 150 just to be on the safe side. I generally don't count my business income because it generally goes back into my business, but we're going to count it because we kind of came out with a profit this uh, month. So our total would be, I'm just going to put total right here, um, $950. Oh shoot, $950. I still did it wrong. Okay. Bills due this week. Um, I'm just going to use my cheat sheet over here. We have um, Barclays and they will be coming out on the 23rd. Um, I normally don't do automatic automation for my credit cards, but what I did, I got this credit card, the interest rate taken down because it was just way too high. I was paying too much, but they pretty much closed the account but gave me a cheaper interest rate. So now I just pay $50 a month for another year, okay? Um, next up, we have Amazon. There's something I got on Amazon that I owe, and that'll be on the 23rd as well. And that is $120 um, after pay. Have an after pay payment that is due on, let me look over here, the 23rd as well. Everything is out coming out on the 23rd. And that is $25. Okay. And then next up, Zip, which is sort of like um, after pay, that is due on the 24th, and that is $38.54. Next up, we have PayPal. I have a PayPal credit card. That is due on the 25th. Generally, it is like $46, so we're going to see. Next up, we have GoDaddy, and GoDaddy is what I use for my website and my email, pro professional email. My website is paid up for the year, but the email, um, I pay that monthly. I don't know why I didn't choose to do this yearly, but anywho, because it's more paying it a month. Okay, and next up, we have Booth Rent which I rent a chair in a salon. That is due on the 25th. And that's 
and that's what I used to run my business. And then what I did was I'm paying a portion of my car note. I've never really discussed my car note on here, but trust me, this is not the full amount, but I'm paying a portion which will come out on probably Tuesday or Wednesday. So, um, good ally. And what is Monday's date? Monday's date is the 21st. I'm going to put it around for like the 21st. And that'll be 225. Okay, so now let's do some calculating. So for this week, the total of what I owe would be $761.95. And we anticipate making 950. So if we subtract that from 950, that leaves us $188 left. So I like to put that. Let me put that down here in the uh, summary section. Okay, so we don't, we're not doing our sinking funds this week, um, to my knowledge. We're not doing expenses because I really don't have any. I have gas. Gas should last me. Um, no debt payment that I know of. And I think that's it. So that leaves us with a total of... I'm just going to put it here, $188. Also, I do not zero-based budget because I'm self-employed. And um, I could, but because my income is inconsistent, it just doesn't really work for me. And I have to do what works for me and my budget. So by me having this $188 left, now, here's what I could do with that. Of course, I'm going to put, I should put some to my savings. But because I'm self-employed, I often say sometimes things just come up that you need. There's toilet paper, there's this, there's that. So until I get back to my cash stuff and envelopes, right now I'm just going to, at the following week, I'll say what happened to this $188.05. So that is the end of my budget video for today. Next week I will do a, what I used to do rather, is I'd come back, show what got paid, how we paid it, what didn't get paid, however, and how the week went, and then we'll go on with the um, next week. But, however, I will say this. If you, again, if you're new here, um, you can follow me on Instagram. On Sundays and Wednesday, I do financial lives. We do a check-in, and if there's something maybe that you need with your help with your budget, we do that. There's a lot of people to hop on. They give um, budgeting tips and encouraging words or what they may have done to help save money. It's really a vibe. You should really come over and check us out. Also, I have a Facebook group you can the link should be below. Also, if you're interested in any of the products that I use today, you can check out my website, which is also listed below. Again, thank you all for stopping by. Again, I apologize for my absence. And I'll just see you guys in my next video because we're back on track. Okay, talk to y'all guys later. Bye.